and oh, I've got there it it dinged. I've never done a hangout before, so I don't know what all the noises mean. Hmm. Well, we'll just wait around. Okay, I've been told I need to talk about something. Oh, yes, someone has joined. Hello, hey. Lila. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. <laughs> What's going on on your Google Hangout? Not much. You're the first one here. <laughs> yes. That's awesome. Mm hmm So how are, how are patterns and all of those things going? They're coming along. Um, I have been working on Adobe Illustrator nonstop, um, getting the graded you, pattern ready for testing. So how do you do that? Like, how do you how do you go about like Adobe Illustrator? Well, I wish I knew how to screen share because then I could just show. Oh wait! Oh, there's a screen share. Okay, <laughs> let me open up Illustrator. <laughs> First time using That's awesome. That's awesome. Hangouts. So, hold on. It's, um, so actually, uh, I've been using Inkscape at home and then going to my alma mater's computer lab to use their illustrator because Adobe products are ridiculously expensive. Yeah, they are. But, um, they have this new service called, I think, Adobe Cloud or something, and my boyfriend got me a subscription, Aww. so I can now do it from home. That's awesome. Oh, my gosh, yes. <laughs> so, okay. Screen share. Ha, yes. <laughs> this is what we want. Ooh. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. I can. So, here's the tiled PDF. And wow. zoom in. <gasps> Ooh, that's so cool. <laughs> yes. Actually, I would like a little bit of advice. Um, so now I've got I was I was running on like no sleep at all. <laughs> and so I I was really stupid. And I got the pattern, and I thought, oh, it's graded into all these extra sizes that I didn't think I'd be getting. But no, those are just the stitching lines. <laughs> oh. So I put the stitching lines in blue uh -huh. and the cutting lines in black. Do you think it looks too busy to keep the stitching lines on there? It's going to be confusing to some people, but yeah. for instance, like, um, I personally love marking my stitching lines because I'm a very messy cutter. So yeah. So when I cut, I actually, I cut really wide seam allowances. Mm -hmm. And then, um, yeah, I just, I rough cut everything, but I make sure that I have my stitching line. So I'm probably the wrong person to ask. I don't know how okay. many people do it like that. Well, I was thinking that, you know, maybe this box, the right. cutting lines in black, stitching in blue might help. You but don't read it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, probably best to get rid of them. Oh, bummer. But, well, I'll, you know what, I'll keep it on the test patterns and yeah, then yeah. see if you all like it or yeah, don't. that would be awesome. Okay, cool. Yeah, because actually, when also when I'm doing um, full bust adjustments, I have mm -hmm. to go off of my stitching line for deciding where to pivot and where to do yes. and not the cutting line. So mm -hmm. I really seriously use that stitching line a lot. Alrighty then. That's why I'm excited to see how it turns out for you. Yeah, I'm excited. So, oh, okay, so the screen is still sharing. Uh-huh. All right. 
I see the little stars. I love the star for joining the sides. Yes. That's um, so cute. Initial feedback on those is that they have been helpful. Mm -hmm. um, and things need to be moved around on the screen a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, so you know we're not cutting off notches and things. Right. right. <laughs> But, um, so are these gonna? Is there gonna be an overlap, or is it just gonna go right up against each other? So there will be wide margins. Mm -hmm. um, actually, the tiles you see on here, mm -hmm. they are eight inches by ten inches, so that this oh, will hopefully. Okay. I still need to grab one of my UK friends and have them right. print out a test for me. But that hopefully it will print out on A4 and. US computer paper. Yay! Um, yes. And there will not be a box around it because I found that it's a lot easier when you're cutting to actually let me grab one that I have um, cut. And okay, while while you do that, I'm gonna tweet that we're that we're going on this thing. Yes. Just Thank so you. that yeah, just so that because then you know if people see More oh there's people. Two people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, how do I get the link for this? Can I share the link? I think so. All I did was copy the URL. Oh, you did? Okay. Let me see if that works. Oh, there's an embed button. Oh, yeah? Oh. Ah. <laughs> Isn't this fun? Yes. Isn't, oh, chat, Leela. I think that URL might do it. Ooh. Which one? Oh, there it is. Ooh, perfect. Yes. And this is being uh, recorded? Yes, it is. <laughs> All of this, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, good. So when I like have like uh, stuff in my mouth, licorice in black spots of licorice in my mouth, that's in the recording. <laughs> you know, I haven't seen any of those. <laughs> oh, good, good. Mm -hmm. It's blurry enough. Yes. So sorry about the typing, but it's part of my computer. <laughs> it's all good. Okay. Uh, that's sent to you, YouTube link. Oh, that's not it. Oh, it's not? No. What is this? Oop. Hold on. Oh, no, that's the actual... Shoot. Oh, okay, man, how about that? Chatty tonight. Sorry? Chatty. People are chatty tonight. Ah. <laughs> so it's going, it's scrolling too fast. Mm. Let me try what you did, and you said just the URL. Yep. In the meantime, I'll... Yes, tell me. Uh, just scroll around the page. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So that it's not at least a... Static image. <laughs> there we go. That's a good. Yeah. I got it. Right thing. <sighs> so, oh, that is so cool. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. I am too. <laughs> I'm so excited, especially because like it's a hoodie, but you, <laughs> you, you. It's like the there's so many. Like I actually, when I look at stuff. Mm -hmm. um, that I think, oh, I think I'd like to do that. The more seams, the better for me. Mm -hmm. You know? Like, if it's just, like, two pattern pieces, it usually doesn't, like, it's just, mm -hmm. that's my taste, personally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when I saw your Why hook, do you like it was like, seams? oh, what? Why do you like more seams? Just stylistically or easier to do adjustments? Yeah, easier to do, 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 do adjustments, but also because, like, I don't know. I like, I like how. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's the adjustments, but also it looks. It's just more to my taste, I guess. You know, and mm -hmm. probably because I can get a better fit with more seams. Yeah. 
you know? Mm -hmm. So. Yes. But that's me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah, me. So. Well, it's, I think maybe a lot of ready tour doesn't have as many seams because, you know, more time and money. So it's right. nice when you have the option of doing something that's a little more involved that, right. you know, might not as, you might not find as easily off yep. the rack. Exactly, exactly. Because I don't, I mean, where do you find a hoodie like that, you know? Mm-hmm. Yay! Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> Going back to um, the cutting out of the patterns. Yes, no, you yeah. can see it that well. Oh, yeah. Okay, you can't really see the lines that well. But I found that if instead of cutting all the way across the edge of the paper, if you just snip out right where the lines are, yeah. that it goes faster and easier. So, Ooh, tell me about this. Let me see if I can find something to demonstrate on. Ah, here's an old version. Scissors are somewhere. Okay. So, instead of cutting all the way along this line, yeah. if you just cut, I don't know if I can do this well because I'm looking at it through the camera, <laughs> but if oh, you just angle. cut like this, no kidding, yeah, and then Thank it's, it's a lot faster for me, wow, so just snip, oh, snip, and Ooh. that's it, and then you can easily, we'll pretend this is the matching page, right. line Thank up you. the lines, sweet, to, and I know so, you've been lining up a lot of stuff because of the 1912 project. Uh, yes, yes. Tons. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. So much lining up. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's, that's mostly it. Um, although I can, I can stand up because I'm wearing a dress. Um, oh, let's see it. For the, yes. Move the computer back. Wow, look at you. Oh. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> Tra la la. Tra la la. And <laughs> the side seams. I don't know if you can see those that well with the light like this, but it goes from here all the way down here. Oh, no, I can't see that that well. Oh, well, um, I did post a picture on my blog. Um, can you link it up on this? Yes, I will. Um, <laughs> on the blog post that I do with the link to this Hangout, I will post a link for that oh, okay. picture. Um, okay. And... Cool, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. So... People coming in my lair. Ah. <laughs> Um, somewhere around here, I have more muslins that I can show. Let's see. But things are a mess. <laughs> I have paper and patterns all over the place. Let me see. Where did I put those? <laughs> I should have been more prepared. <laughs> Okay, I couldn't find them within a second or so. So instead, I'll show the last muslin for the men's hoodie. Oh, let's see it. Which <laughs> is a seafoam color. I'm sure Q loves it. <laughs> yeah. And here are the thumb holes in case people are interested. Oop. Cool. It's, yeah, a very hastily done <laughs> stitching job since it was just a mock garment. Um, and, oh, 
a development. So yes. uh, in all the different trials found that uh, the stable fleece, like the regular sweatshirt fleece, yeah. it was a bit too um, yeah. much in yeah. the neck. Like you would just have no neck, it would go like this. But in a drapey fleece it would be really nice because it would sort of conform a little more to your body. Oh. Um, so we now have two different style options for the hoodie. One is with no overlap so that it goes long and it's not, you know, nice. a huge necklace thing. Yeah. So yeah. Cool. So what would be a, a drapey uh, uh, like sweatshirt? Probably. I found that the uh, velour slash French Terry, same oh. thing, it seems to go by two different names, works yeah. really well. Let me get okay. it and show you. Okay. This is the hoodie that was in the Kickstarter video. I've been wearing it to death. Um, <laughs> and I don't know how well you'll be able to see it on the camera. But there's a pile with loops. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I can kind of yeah. see Yeah, so as opposed to, say, the wet shirt fleece, which is just very fuzzy, uh, terry fleece or velour has all these little loops. And it, it seems like all the ones I've handled are more drapey. Uh, but really, you should look to the fabric content, you know, things with, say, rayon or spandex. Is that your daughter? It's my little boy. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. That's okay, he's got it's long hair. It's very blurry. Yeah, that's okay, don't worry about it. Okay, there you go. I'm really sorry. It's, no, it's okay. It's just... I know, it's all right. I couldn't see anything. He doesn't through. mind either. He's like, Man, okay. He's four. All right. Yeah. He's so. a, it's, it's cool. he, I mean, he's got long hair, you know? All it's right. Always, yeah. So, so kind of like with a pile in the back, like a. Yes, a loopy pile. Um, kind of like a bathroom towel, actually. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and is it, is it like an, is it knit like or? It is. It's a regular, it looks like jersey on the front side, okay. um, yeah. same like sweatshirt fleece where it looks like jersey on the front, it's just the back, yeah. has all the little loops. And okay. I found those maybe ten to Sorry? I've never sewn with it. Uh, it's, I found it to be pretty easy. Um, yeah. Perhaps the regular sweatshirt fleece is slightly more easy because it's more stable. It doesn't mm -hmm. uh, stretch as much. I found that the uh, the terry fleece, especially if it has you know rayon or spandex, stretches more, and that that can also be very helpful if you have things like a sway back because it sort of glides over those curves a little more uh -huh. instead of uh -huh. bunching up as much. Oh, okay, okay, so. cool. Mm -hmm. Are there? Um, do you have like? Are you going to have like tutorials for working with this fabric in case yes. some of us haven't used it? Yes, I will. And today, I figured out an easier way to establish a grain line on these things, because mm -hmm. um, so when you're working with the fleece and you know you're you have the wrong side of the fabric up and you place the pattern piece on top of it and do all your markings there, it can be really hard. Oh, we have another person on the hangout. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hello. How are you? Um, <laughs> so, I, you, I just dropped my iPad for the second time in 24 hours. I'm kind of busy. Oh. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? I will go and hang out. Oh. <laughs> How are you guys? We're good. Well, I'm good. I don't shouldn't. Speak oh yeah, I'll, I'll subscribe to that too. I'm good. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. I hope your iPad is good. Um, it's good. One time I caught it with my foot, and now I have a bruise oh. like this big. Oh. Has, Ouch. The iPad's still functional this time. I managed to carry my laptop and my iPad and a cup of tea and then <laughs> drop the iPad into the tea while spilling the tea all over the table and then curse and swear and show to my husband to clean it up for me. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not to get you. I'm off with you. <laughs> that's, that's why I was like, you know, I could sit and stay. 
I could learn to not drop things. Yeah. That's horrible. <laughs> I have sent my iPad flying across the room before. Oh, really? <laughs> I've never like, dropped it in the toilet, knock on wood. Oh, yeah. No. Don't say that. That'd be scary. <laughs> iPhone will happen well before that one falls in the toilet. Mm -hmm. I should text my husband and tell him I'm unless alive. unless can you fit the iPad into the pocket of the hoodie, Mari? Yes, oh. actually <laughs> you can. Yeah. And I found the pocket, the front kangaroo pocket is really yeah. useful for stuffing my gloves and hat. Um, nice. Oh, cool. But okay. not an iPad when you're going to the toilet. No, you know, I don't think uh, the pockets would be big enough. The openings would be big enough to get that through. So we have to hack it, in other words? Yes, <laughs> you <Yeah>. will. <laughs> Excellent. Well, my husband oh, my nothing but hoodies, so <laughs> as soon as I find some black sweatshirt fabric, I'll be in. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we were actually just talking about fabric yeah. for it. I know, um, apparently we we should talk fabric and sewing fabrics. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Digressions are welcome though. Yes, excellent. Um, and I was just about to tell Leela uh, a method I came up with today for more easily establishing the grain line on these things. Nice. Because the back of the fabric, it's all kind of this uniform fuzziness. Yep, sure. So uh, what I was doing was going on to the front of the fabric, getting a bit of chalk, and just very closely looking at where all the, where you can see the lines from all the stitches are, and doing a chalk line down the stitches, and then uh, doing a basting stitch down those stitches. Oh, nice. On the other side. Cool. Clever. I tend to be really lazy about grain lines on knits, and I just kind of cut anywhere and then it's slightly wonky and I don't care in the end. Well, That's it usually why. turns out okay. On yeah, knits. And also, I mean, Jillian, you've, you've been working with knits so much that you probably think that you're just winging it, but you're really not. That's true. That's you know true. what I mean? Yep. So. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Well, I'm so excited for you to start releasing oh, patterns. It's awesome. Thank you. I'm incredibly excited too. <laughs> so. <laughs> Well, I feel like we need to go recruit some other people. I know. Yeah. Look over to Twitter and see who I can harass. <laughs> yeah, harass some people. You're the one that's like, you can like build up a storm with anything. Uh, hello, Miss Socialist. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to go talk to my husband for just a sec because I heard he came up. And uh, I'll be right back, okay? okay. Wait, Perfect. I actually have no idea how to. How to hang up? There's a yeah. little phone on the somewhere that should like look like you're gonna hang up a phone. Should be. Oh, is that in the? Oh yes, the upper right hand corner. Or just drop it in your toilet. Yes. <laughs> yes. There we go. Okay. <laughs> or perhaps dropping it in soup might be more pleasant because then it would taste good. Oh my god! I have the worst tech advice. I should start a YouTube for worst tech advice ever. <laughs> and what will your first episode be on? It'll be about how to turn off your iPad if it won't turn off. And the it'll be to throw it in the toilet. <laughs> Which is why I don't own an iPad. <laughs> so it, tell me about the skirt. I'm, I'm just I'm okay. loving that well, skirt cut. It's yeah. back here. So it actually came about when I was working on, I think, what possibly my first knit project ever in many years. My very, very first time sewing with knits, I pieced together all these scraps of jersey in uh, grammar school and I made a top. Um, and then I didn't touch it for many, many years, even though the top came out okay. Yeah. Um, this was, I was trying to make a dress uh, based off of a ready-to-wear pattern and didn't turn out as well, but I had all this fabric left over and it was, see, there was a curve for the dress and so I had these kind of crescent triangle pieces and I just stitched them up together and got this, um, which turns out to be a little asymmetrical, you know, with going yeah. a little higher there on the sides. Yeah. 
I'm curving around the back. Ooh. Getting caught on the chair. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. And the pattern drafter will be going over that pattern entirely, making sure you know there are no errors or anything, and then she'll also be drafting it into a longer size. Cool. So how what are the lengths? I can see that one's is that considered a mini? Yeah, this one's a mini skirt. Um it's it's maybe mid thigh on me, and the longer one will be around knee length, probably close to the length of this dress. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. I don't know if you can see if I'm high enough. Well, sort of, kind of, not really. This one is right in the middle of my knees. Okay. So, oh, cool. around there. Nice. And then, how much does it wrap around? Like, is uh, it? It wraps around quite a bit because it takes the crescent half circle bits and it wraps those. Oh, okay. So, yeah. That's it. And are there, are there little holes or is it just overlapping? This one is just overlapping. Um, but there will be holes so that it's yeah. more stable and yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. So. Hello. Hello again. I'm back. <laughs> I have no just, you missed the skirt. Oh, I want to see the skirt. Yeah, okay. show her the skirt. So, mind you. It's it's a little crooked on the mannequin now. Um, but get that over. All right. So actually, let me try and raise this thing. So you can see all of it. <laughs> oh. Nicely done. Okay. Oh, you still can't see the bottom. Okay, I'll just hold it up. There we go. All right. So. Woo. Oh, it's cute. Thank you. And it's all wrinkly <laughs> on the mannequin. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so. What you missed was I was showing Leela how much it wraps around. It, yeah. um, so the side is this little triangle. Oh, cool. And then it wraps around mm. all the way around the front and then about halfway on the back. Mm -hmm. like that. Nice. So that even though it dips up a bit, you're still covered and not mm -hmm. going to, you know. Nice. Exposed too much, yes. <laughs> especially in the longer length. Cool. It should be around knee-ish length. Nice. So. Very fun. Yes. So, the patterns that you're releasing in your first grouping are the hoodie yes. and a skirt? Yes, and also a pattern that can be made up as a dress or a tank top. Or okay. I thought there was yes. I thought there was um, which I am wearing the dress right now. Ooh, oh, this is your plaid one, right? Yes. Um, where I did some very poor matching on the sides because I was too <laughs> excited. <laughs> so I don't know if you can see. Oh, yeah, you can see the, oh, right now. Yeah, yeah. the darts curving nice. through the front and then down the back. Fun. I'm impressed you managed not to fall over there. It's <laughs> what I would have done in my clumsiness. Nice, that's really cool. I've actually I've never tried sewing raglan sleeves at all. So mm. uh, these aren't too bad. There's a little bit of um, it's it's actually easier to sew them in flat. Um, mm -hmm. And then I found it's easier when you're sewing them in flat to line up all the seam nice. lines too. Yeah, yeah. So. Cool. Yay. It's it's the nice thing about them is there's no easing them in to the sleeves. Right. Yes. Yeah. Never my favorite part. Mm-hmm. Leela, what do you have in the background behind you? Is that a wig and a hat? <laughs> yes, it is a wig and a hat. Awesome. <laughs> Tell me more about the wig and the hat. The resolution is not in focus, so I'm just trying to figure it out. Okay. It's on my little tiny dress form, which you oh. can't really see. Uh -huh. It's 
it's cute. <laughs> but this is a hat. Yes. Perfect for jungle January. Ah, so they're not actually attached then. No. It's not a wig hat. And then the, my wig. <laughs> oh, is that your Snow White wig? It is. Very oh. nice. Yeah. Nice. Of course. <laughs> well, there it is. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> That is lovely. Mm hmm Nice. I look a lot better when I have it all put together. Yeah! <laughs> it's not a certain je ne sais quoi. <laughs> all right. No, I know what it's called. It's not a je ne sais quoi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Aw. <laughs> nice. Mm hmm So I need to ask, because yes. whenever I talk to people in person, I realize I don't know how to pronounce their names. So, you, um, Mari. Mari? Okay, that's what yes. I was going to go with. I was like, damn, she could be a Mary. Could be something else. Mari. Thanks. Short for anything or just Mari? It's short for Maritka. Okay. Which is Lithuanian. I know one other Mariska, and she goes by Rick. Oh. It's Maritka. Maritka. No oh, sorry. Well then. Maritka. I didn't know this. Mm -hmm. Who's Lithuanian in Wait, your family? Wait, so, yeah. Are you <laughs> Chinese? <laughs> ah, yes. I'm Chinese, French, German, and Lithuanian. Oh, that's why. <laughs> yes. No, no, I'm wondering no you too, know what? You're from Chicago. That's where you're from. <laughs> that's damn how you can all this. <laughs> Is that you just say, no, look, I'm from Chicago, and then you go, oh, right, that makes a lot of sense. The Chinese <laughs> Lithuanian designer, yeah, she's from Chicago. <laughs> That's awesome. Nice. So, yeah, and you know that I'm Leela, right? Are you Leela yeah. too, Jillian? I'm Jillian Leela, yeah. Right. My grandma was Leela, and I have no idea. Like, she was born in the foothills of Quebec in, like, oh. an English community in a French-speaking area. So I have no idea where Leela comes in. Like, it's not a traditional name. Doesn't really make a lot of sense. Everyone else in the family was like Elma or Mildred or names like that. So, yeah, so Leela. Yeah. So that's the name I got. But I have a cousin who is spelled the same but pronounced Layla. Right. So that just confuses us all. Yeah, I totally get that too. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. so when do your patterns actually come out then, Mari? Um, I'm hoping to release them in mid-April, if everything goes yeah. according to the schedule. I and assume that's really coming out progressing. Quickly. Yeah. Well. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yes. Nice. And so with, with the Kickstarter, and when does Kickstarter close? It ends next Monday. Oh. Um, and let me do a wee bit of, oh, will this let me, okay, tell me if you, well, ah, here we go. So, and can you see the, chart? yeah, so Kickstarter, they actually have some really nice statistics mm -hmm. um, on the back end of everything. Oh, it's frozen. It's not scrolling anymore. And I can't. Oh hear anyone. Is it? Aw. Oh, oh, wait, whoa. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Can... It's got uh, crazy. It is. $23. Okay. I'm going to stop screen share since that seemed to not be working. That's I wanted nice. to show you pie charts and bar graphs and things. Aww. It so must be cool to be able to track it all, though. That, that it is. is always really fun. Mm -hmm. I like data, so nice. It's it's nice. Um, I've been mm -hmm. buying on my grade one students all week. It's March break this week. Mm -hmm. but they do an online reading program, so I can like check and see what who's been reading and nice. who hasn't send them a little messages <laughs> and nerdily fun. Yeah. Yes. I understand. Mm -hmm. Um, nice. But the campaign ends next Monday at I believe, 7 
8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Yeah. Um, it's, let me see if it will cooperate. It's being very slow. That's but it ends 7 or 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. And right now we are at, oh, 8.02 p.m. Eastern time, so 7.02 Central. And we are right now at $1,241. Wow. Yes. That's awesome. That is so awesome. I've just been bowled over by this. It's it's amazing. I know. I, I wasn't expecting to raise so much. Um, yeah, it's yay. I'm touched by how wonderfully supportive and generous everyone has been. Well, I think everyone's always. I mean, for me, like I know I have no interest in business, no aptitude for it. I have tried selling things I make, and I hate doing it. But for me, like, I'm so excited to see anyone else who has that dream mm -hmm. and then actually makes it happen. You know, you want to give them the support you can or, you know, do the little bits that you can just to see someone else make that dream happen. Yeah. And that's one of the things I love about the online sewing community is that we're all, we're all there for each other. Mm -hmm. um, but I think you could, you could make a business too. Part of it is just finding what you want to do. Like, for a while, yeah. I was thinking years ago that I would knit and crochet these things and sell them, and I bought all this yarn for it, and then I realized I really don't like production knitting. No. I like doing one-offs for myself, sure. <laughs> not for other people. So well, it's finding your thing. Knitting's a hard one because it takes so long to finish something. Yes, you know, it, it does. What you're making, and you can make quick and easy things, but even a quick and easy thing, I mean, it takes time. Yeah. You can sew faster. Yes. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I used to sell things at a farmer's market years and years ago, and then last year I was selling things at a store in town, but I don't like sewing perfectly, and I don't like thinking about someone else's aesthetic. I like making Your own. what I want to make when I want to make it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Totally understandable, and that's why when – People have asked me to sew things for them. I usually turn them down. <laughs> yeah. Lily, you sew and sell things, though, right? But it's, like, custom work. Yeah, uh, it's really you? just one-offs. Yeah. So, like, I just got another... Uh, I made um, a, a River Tam from Serenity, mm -hmm. one of her dresses. Oh, yeah. So I made one of those, and um, it's just hard sewing for people that don't that you can't do a fitting with. So Yes. So you don't sew for local people, you sew I, I have sewn for some local people. So it just I don't I don't really advertise myself a ton, so yeah. I just I don't want it to be so much that I can't sew for myself. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, because then it becomes I don't know. Not if it's fun. fun then it's fun. I like I got to do these yeah these uh, breeches, like 1700s, like a, from like a Vict uh, Victorian, from a um, historical pattern. So nice. working like that where it's like, I would never need those for myself. Sure. But to make them for somebody else, sure, made three yeah. pairs. Like, yeah, nice. So, yeah. Yeah, it's cool to, I mean, everyone's got, I think, different skills and different interests, and there's certainly lots of people that, go into the business side of things, you know, in different ways. Yeah. 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 And um, I guess I am doing a bit of production for other people. My, um, my web designer is an old friend of mine. We used to belly dance together in college. Nice. Um, yeah. And she's awesome, awesome web designer. And in exchange for her services, I'm knitting and sewing her things. But um, it's kind of like you were saying, Lila, with, oh, you have breeches. You wouldn't otherwise make that. Well, yeah. I haven't, unfortunately, been able to belly dance in many years, so I'll be getting to make her fun things like costumes and, you know, all this fun, really, I guess, labor-intensive hand yeah. stuff that I normally wouldn't do. And so it's a yeah. nice change. And also knitting. This is a hat so far. That's um, cool. Yeah. So do you think do you think Mari you'll you'll start adding knitting patterns too? I would really really like to. 
Um, I actually have a few patterns that I, I could release, and I'm, I'm going to release them for free because they're really, really simple. Mm -hmm. uh, like, like on Ravelry or something? Or? Um, well, I would like to connect them up to the sewing patterns as part of a collection, but mm. I don't know what collection yet. Oh, uh, yeah. Because um, it's a capelet that I've done, which is right over here, actually. Leila, do you knit? Yeah. So, you do? Here's mm -hmm. the capelet. It's just very simple. Um, yeah. So it cool. would need to be a winter themed, or what, rather, a winter oh, yeah, time. Yeah. I saw that one. That's cute. Thanks. So I have a few, but just figuring out when and where to yeah. release them. Yeah. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think there's really interesting crossover between the sewing and the knitting community. Mm -hmm. And it's something that always kind of fascinates me. Like, I feel like proportionally quite a lot of sewers are also knitters. So I think that would be a strong crossover sort of tie-in. Mm -hmm. When I think of, like, the knitters that my sister knits with, I don't know that any of them are sewers. I don't know wow. if readers are just a bigger community or if that's just, you know, the people she I knows. I think you're right. I've noticed that trend, too, where it's a lot of sewers knit, but not as many knitters sew. Um, I know, and I know logistically that can't be true, but, like, mm -hmm. there just have to be a lot of knitters then, right? And a small group that also sew? Possibly. Yeah. I mean, it's it's you know? a lot easier yeah. in some ways to get started knitting because you don't have to go in and buy a machine. You mm -hmm. can get, you know a ball of yarn for a couple of dollars and knitting yep. needles for the same price and mm -hmm. get started. Mm -hmm. Whereas sewing takes a lot more time and you know space and money. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh yes it does. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean I think we're like it's an interesting generation right now where people's mothers generally know or knew how to sew and I mm. think of my friends, at least, most people's moms have a sewing machine. Yes. So, and we're kind of the first generation where most people don't know how to sew, but mm -hmm. actually do have access to a sewing machine. Mm -hmm. They would start if they wanted to, but they don't. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, mm -hmm. my musings. I, I would agree <laughs> with you. Yeah, I mean, I like like the kind of stuff you've designed is really nice because it's what you actually want to wear every day. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the kind of thing that you would make multiples of, which I am well known for myself. <laughs> yes. Yeah, um, so that so is the hope with some of these things, especially with the pattern yeah. that can be made as a dress or a um, mm -hmm. sleeveless version. You know, all those same basic um, bodice, mm -hmm. but cut off in different places so that you can make it, you know, sweetheart neckline versus scoop yeah. neck or yoke and things to encourage that, you know, making of multiples. Mm -hmm. Nice. Well, it'll be good. Yes. Cool. But also just because I like having options. Right. And yeah. it, I found um, in sewing up the test ones that it's great for stash busting. Um, because you can just use scraps here and there, and gosh, I wish I, I don't know where it is. I had it <laughs> right before this started, but um, the <laughs> tank top has a yoke, um, so it like cuts off around here, so yeah. you can say, oh hey, I have this little scrap. What am I going to do with it? Oh, you can attach you know, a pattern nice. to a yeah. main bodice, and there you go. That's awesome. Nice. Yeah, it's one of the things I find interesting about indie pattern designers. Like when you go and buy, you know, a Vogue pattern or a Butterick pattern or whatever, there's usually tons and tons of options, right? Within yes. that one envelope, there's at least four different views that are generally fairly different. Mm -hmm. And I can understand with indie designers how it, the logistics of making really big changes to a pattern and still selling it as one, like it just it's not financially viable. But mm -hmm. I always it's something I look for for sure that the designers at least suggesting two ways I could make it, or you know yeah. some kind of 
of alterations because yeah, you want to be able to make lots of things with mm -hmm. them. pattern. Yes, um, and that's I guess also partly the thing I'm going for with this company is having variations and options on things. Um, like before you got here, we were talking about another option for the hoodie where there will be a hood that doesn't cross over in the front um, where it just meets and it's yeah I I like having options and yeah giving options to people it's it you always feel like you're getting more for your buck when you get a pattern that has ooh I can make it up six different ways or something whether <laughs> or actually make it all those six ways yes yeah. hey Mari I have a question because I was I, when I saw the the hoodie <clears throat> I was starting to think like could you make it out of like a thinner knit, like a jersey or something, and have it be like, like a T-shirt? You know what I mean, like a long sleeve mm -hmm. T-shirt. I suppose hood. you could. It's um, the thing about it though, is that you might have the pocket on um, the seams for that showing through if you're using a really thin jersey, mm -hmm. and also um had to, in the drafting, add in a bit of extra ease on the sides so that when someone's hand goes through, oh, this is all falling down, but when someone's hand goes through, there's extra room for their hand. Um, yeah. So it wouldn't be perfectly form-fitting. Mm -hmm. um, it, it would skim across your curves uh -huh. instead of hugging them. Okay. Yeah, I'm curious how it would how it would work with something thinner or like a sweater knit or Hi, know, Kelly. This is my web designer. Hi. <laughs> nice to meet you. Um, but yeah, I I could see it in a sweater knit where it would be a little bit thicker. Um, I don't know about a real thin jersey though. I would have to test that out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just curious. Because mm -hmm. I tend to like sew things with whatever I have for yes. for a muslin before mm -hmm. I go out and buy fabric for it. Yeah. And so I'll tend to like just sort of whatever I have mm -hmm. try to make it work. You know um, what I mean? I'm interlock curious. might be um, a decent muslin. I haven't tested oh, okay. it out yet, but you might be able to use that. Cool. Nice. What do you use to on the hoodie to um, bind like the cuffs or the neckline? Ah, well, the cuffs. It's it's actually just a hemband um, okay. with a hole for your thumb to come through. How do you make the hole? Do you have to like? Yes. Well, here, let me grab the last muslin of the men's version. A little bit easier to see since it's lighter. So, here you can see that it's actually offset from the seam on the sleeve. Yeah. And here's the pattern piece for it. This one got a lot of questions from the test goers. So I'm redoing the instructions and I have diagrams now. Um, Yay. Yes. <laughs> which I didn't have time to get out for print it off. But for the next round of test sewers, there will be diagrams. So you take it and you fold it in half. Mm -hmm. And then you stitch right where you see these lines. Don't sew here because that's where your thumb goes through. So there and there. And then you're going to take the tube of fabric and fold it in half. So not in half like this sheet of paper, but um, yeah. So it's oh. pretend that this isn't already pre-assembled. You would fold it yeah. in half like this, and then yeah. there's your hemband. And you attach it like a normal hemband yeah. to the cool. sleeve. Yeah. And then the neckline um, is finished with a facing. Um, mm -hmm which, oh, I didn't put on this muslin. <laughs> uh, yeah. But, on the one I've been wearing around, it's just the facing. Um, nice. You can see the interfacing on the other side, although you're supposed to top stitch it so that yeah. that interfacing doesn't, you know, flip up and show. 
But nice. yeah, that's that's it. Cool. I'm excited to try making it. <laughs> I'm I can't wait to see what everyone does with it. Yeah. I'm going fabric shopping tomorrow, so should I, I should keep my eyes open. What yeah. um like how much yardage they I would go for yardage. two yards. Um yeah. That'll okay. probably give you a little bit extra. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and look for something that, well, it kind of depends on your body type. Leela mm -hmm. and I were talking about it before, um, the amount of drape in, in the fabric mm -hmm. and yeah. also the amount of stretch. If you have a sway back, it helps if you get a fleece with four-way stretch and then also something with drape because um, it will skim over your curves more instead of bunching up. Um, in the back, oh, so nice. that you can kind of cheat and not have to do a sway back adjustment. Yeah, that is drastic of a one. Nice. Also, it depends on the hood option you're making. The hmm. hood with, um, actually, I'll put it on the hood that overlaps in the front. You're probably going to want something with drape to it, so that it falls more against your body, because okay. otherwise, if you get something stable. The hood will um, stick out, and yeah, you won't right. have a neck. Um, but if all you can find are the stable ones, then there's the option to do it without the crossover in the front. Nice. So, see. Yay! All right, I'll keep my eyes open. <laughs> Um, also, in general, I've found that the terry fleeces, sometimes called French terry or velour. Uh, tend to have a little bit more drape in them, but you know it's mostly down to the fabric content. Mm -hmm. Having things like rayon and spandex help add drape. Yeah, there's not a lot of choice in my fabric stores when it comes to sweatshirt knits. It's usually like a pretty stable, not very stretchy. Yes. Yeah. But that's not necessarily a bad thing because it no, can help. Totally. Um, you know, when you're lining up all the different seams. Because you've got four that meet here. I don't know how well you can see. Here. Yeah. There's the horizontal one and then the vertical one. So maybe slightly easier if it's stable. more stable. No. Yeah. But even if you don't get a stable one, the pattern calls for some basting there to make sure that they meet up. So you don't have to stitch all the way and then flip it over and go, ah, it doesn't yeah. match up. I have to rip everything out. Oh, so. Nice. <laughs> you plan carefully. I hope so. <laughs> it is really nice how carefully they're planned. Oh, thank you. Cool. Any more questions? No, it was nice to meet you all. On YouTube. And you too. It's nice to meet you too, however briefly. <laughs> <laughs> so, nice. okay. I guess we will sign off. Thank you so much, guys, for coming out. <laughs> Have a good night, everyone. Night. Bye. Bye.